Greetings everybody, Fu here with part 13 of the Republic Commando build thread. We're going to look at how we get our ab, cod piece, and butt plate together, and kind of how we're going to measure out the chest piece. We'll talk about chest assembly in the next part, but I want to show you at least how we get that measurement done. Alright, kind of a distance here today. Uh, take some of that Velcro that you went out and bought. Eventually, when we're done, you're going to go ahead and do this entire strip with that 2 inch wide Velcro. You're going to want an overlap. I make the butt plate the inside part. The cod piece nabs are going to come over the top of that. So eventually there's going to be a strip here. You might use all two inches of it. You might only have it a one inch strip. It depends on what your overlap is. If you're a thicker guy, you may end up shimming this a little bit. Um, and remember, I've already got this marked. I'm going to have to trim this up a little bit to meet where the, uh, the cod piece comes in the front. So just about here is, is the top part where that comes out. This is going to be the, the topmost edge you're going to cut and that'll match up pretty well with your cod piece. Just line them up, see where it is, and, and match your seam there. Velcro, both sides. I just put a little tack piece here so that I know where I'm going. Then on the cod piece, I did the same thing. I took the secondary ab piece, which is unique to the TZA armor. PA will just be one solid armor piece. Um, this will give you a little more flexibility and uh, it's got a different ab pattern that's uh, accurate to the uh, PC platform version, which is different from the Xbox version. There's some variations in the armor. Uh, I had a couple of people ask about what is the difference. Everybody says game accurate. That's what I've been able to pull from it. If you look at the TZA armor, it's uh, it's the online, the, the PC platform. Armor is a little different. You get more of the um, definition of the calves. You get a different ab setup. You'll get shoulder smaller, shoulder, let me try that again, smaller shoulder bells. And so those are some of the big differences. But you're going to tack the inside, figure out where that's going to line up, and I'm going to do over the top. It matches up nicely. So we've got there. And eventually that will be your, your permanent attachment for that. Um, there's been talk of doing waistbands and different things. Um, I mean, ultimately, there's not a whole lot of bending that you can do in armor anyway. So don't think you're going to be going out and doing all kinds of crazy exercises. But this will give you a little more flexibility. You can hinge it if you want. You can do a back strap if you want. I'm going to end up just doing um, straight Velcro on each side. I'll do a wider section once I'm done. But now, just to, to see where it's going to fit, I did that. On the inside, the belt portion, if you will, is where I put the uh, opposite side of the Velcro. So that when you clamshell, if you're, clamshell yourself in, you line her up. This should be, when your feet are shoulder width apart, this should stay up on its own and not explode out. When you look at it from the sides, you can see I've got to trim up here to meet the, uh, the front section there. So you want to meet that. Overlap is good. I would say don't trim anything. Uh, the more overlap you have, the better, the better hold you've got to get. If you're a skinnier guy and you can get a section and a half of Velcro, great. It'll hold just that much tighter. But uh, you want to make sure that you've, you've got that cut so it doesn't, you know, practice moving. If it's rubbing on your thighs a little bit here, it's going to be killing you after a day of treatment. So make sure that, that you mark where you need to take out there. Same with the butt plate. You want to, you know, lean back, take a step back, and see where that's hitting on your thighs. Now, depending on your butt, you know, this might look like it's sagging down a little bit, whatever. It's more important that this matches up so your junk's not hanging out, but it's also not way down mid-thigh. So that should hold itself up, but you've got to have that to be able to get the chest together, to know where to measure the chest. Uh, the shoulders, what, what I do is I, I tape the top part of the shoulder over. You can mark it if you're by yourself, just kind of hold it in place, figure out what you're doing. I like the TZA, it's, it's got a closer back to it, um, so it, you can actually feel it on your shoulder blades a little bit, a little more security, and I think that'll make the back pat hug to your body a little closer. So tight, tape the front half over, you're going to get some overlap, but we'll trim all that later when we show how to do the closure. But tape that, and then I took a, a half strip of Velcro and just kind of put it on the, the front and back. Now, I'm going to do a seamless. I'll show you how to do that. If you want, some people, this is the only closure they use. They'll, they'll shim it so that the front and back will meet up, but then you do a Velcro closure. I like a, a solid piece that you've got to be able to, to uh, shim over your head or scoot through it. But because we're just measuring out right now, you can kind of clamp shell it and just see where it's going to go. This is where you'll get used to pulling it over the abs and then 
might want to close that Velcro back up. This is where another set of hands comes in handy. Handy, handies. Okay, you're going to want the chest to come down just to this this upper ab mark here on the on the floater ab, and you want to make sure that you got your back tucked under. You got this gap here. You want to make sure that back is tucked under. Scoot everything up, and you're there. You want to make sure also that when you're measuring this, that your shoulders actually sit on your shoulders. If it sits up here, your neck seal is going to look goofy. Um, you want to show the detail on that. Foo puts a lot of work into those, so <laughs> make sure the uh, the detail is showing. That I, I like this this low dipping chest in the armor, and you're going to notice a lot more. Uh, bulging out of the chest here and the pecs are a little lower. So that, that's the big difference with the TZA chest and back. So you'll get used to where this needs to be, where the abs are going to sit. Once you've got that, have somebody mark, close it up until you've got a good you know, tight fit here to where you can move your arms forward. I mean, if you can't get any forward movement on your arms, it's too tight. But you, know, you want decent movement in your arms and then once that's marked top and bottom, You'll know what line to cut to either go seamless or to do your shimmed Velcro. And then we'll talk about different closures you can use so that you don't get the, uh, the pop-out ab section. That's going to happen with any of these armor kits. Um, you can use Velcro, you can use a clip. This is where it helps to have you know, someone to, to reach in and clip that for you. Um, or if you're doing a clamshell, there's different ways. But you're going to want something to, to hold that chest from going up too far if you lean back because your abs will pop out. And then the back usually takes care of itself. So those are the big parts with making sure that this fits first and get the chest over it because if you try to measure the chest without having the abs on and the butt plate on, you're not going to get a good measurement. Once you've got that good measurement, everything's good, mark it, and we'll talk about in part 14 how to do a solid chest. Quite an ending.